Welcome everybody. This is calculus course. And now we are continuing with, let's write here, lines, circles, and parabolas. Parabolas, yeah. First of all, we are going with Cartesian coordinates in the plane. Let's draw the Cartesian coordinate system. Here is Y axis and X axis. You know that this is called positive X axis and here is positive Y axis. Here is negative Y axis and here is negative X axis. And we have a point here and we call that point origin. Origin. We have 0, 0 0.0 here. And we have here positive numbers, one, two, three, like that, and positive numbers for y here, one, two, three, like that. And on the negative x-axis, we have minus one, minus two, and minus three. And also here we have minus uh, numbers, yeah. And this is the Cartesian coordinate systems in, on the plane, in the plane. And next, next, we have to know, we have to know quadrants. What are the quadrants for the Cartesian coordinate system? You know that here is first quadrant and here is second quadrant and third and finally is the fourth one, fourth quadrant. What does it mean? We know that here we have plus plus sign for x plus and y plus. And here we have minus plus. You know that here is x. First we are using x axis and second uh, ordinate y uh, sign. So here on the third quadrant we have minus minus and on the fourth quadrant we have plus minus. Yeah. And I also want to say, this is called, I said abscess, and it's written like that, abscess. And this is called ordinate, ordinate. Totally, we're going to say a coordinate pair, coordinate pair. So we have here X and Y, so this is X and this is Y. I mean, this is abscess and this is ordinate. So abscess ordinate, abscess ordinate here and abscess ordinate here. On the fourth quadrant, I mean, abscess is positive and ordinate is negative. Yeah. Now, next one, next one. Now uh, we have increments, increments, and straight line, increments and straight line. Uh, let's give a definition for increments. Net chains, net chains in the coordinates, coordinates are called 
increments. So, so increment in X from X1 to X2 is delta X is equal to X2 minus X1. Don't forget this equation, definition for the increments. So uh, let's give an example for this one. Let's give an example. Let's go from, let's go from point A, that is 2.3, abscess is two and ordinate is three, to the point, to the point B, that is seven minus five, and find the increments. So let's find it as x, delta x is equal to seven minus two, seven minus two, that is five. And for the increments of y, uh, as rise means, I will say it uh, in this lecture also, and it is minus five minus three, so it is minus eight. Now, let's try it again. Maybe some problems here, okay. And next one, next one. Delta X is called as run, run. And Delta Y is called as rise, rise. Not that, not that, or maybe let's give a definition. I can say like that. Slope, slope is equal to M, that is rise over run. What is rise? What is run? Rise is delta Y and run is delta X. That is what we find as increments, that is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Also, we can uh, define it a uh, geometrical way. How can it be? Let's draw a Cartesian system again. And let's draw a line here, a line. Now, uh, let's give a point P1 here and P2 here. P1 is abscess and ordinates x1, y1, and p2 is x2, y2. So uh, let's find the places, ordinates and abscesses. Here you know uh, x2, here is x1, and y1 here, and y2 here. So this distance is y2 minus y1, and this distance is x2 minus x1. So we have also an angle here, angle, it's alpha, let's say it's alpha. So m, the slope is equal to tangent alpha, that is sinus alpha over cosinus alpha. So it is What's that? You know, rise or run. What is rise here? Rise is y2 minus y1. So rise or run is equal to y2 minus y1. Here is rise place, rise, and run here. So x2 minus x1. So we understand that uh, this is the formulation for slope, or maybe definition for slope, maybe better to say. And let's uh, solve an 
example for this one. Let's so what's that? This one example is find the slope, find the slope of the line. between the points, between the points, three, one, and minus two, minus five. Now, let's try this one. We know that M is equal to rise over run. So we have to find rise and run and put it here and solve the equation, solve the solution, solve, find solution, I mean. And rise is, you know, delta y is equal to minus five, minus one, and that is minus six, and run is delta x, so it is minus two, minus three, so it is minus five, so uh, put it here, rise is minus six, and run is minus five, so uh, slope is equal to, slope is equal to, six or five. Yeah, this is the answer for this question. Next one, next one. We have point slope equation. Point slope equation. What I mean, we have one point one point and one slope. What happens if we have one point and one slope? How can we interpret the line equation at that time? So uh, it is like that y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. This x1, y1 means it's a point and m the uh, slope of our equation is the point slope equation of the line of the line has to as to the point x1, y1, and has slope m. Okay, don't forget this equation also. This is our definition also. So let's give an example also for this one. Let's give an example. Yes, example. Write an equation. Write an equation for the line through the point through the point two, three, abscess is two and ordinate is three with the slope with the slope minus three or two. So let's find the equation now. We have, you know, the equation is like that. M and X minus X1. Uh, let's put the numbers here. So we are going to find the answer and uh, the equation for the line also. Y minus three is Y. M is minus three over two and x minus our abscess is 2. So let's find it. Maybe like that. It's better. It's better. Minus 3x over 2 and plus 3, 2 over 2. Maybe here like that. And maybe it is better to do like that. And finally, we have this one and minus three goes on the left, on the right, and we got here like that. So the line is 
y is equal to minus 3x over 2 plus 6. Our equation for the line for the given point and with the slope minus 3 over 2. Yeah, let's go to another subject. A line, a line through two points, two points. Last time we have one point and one slope. Now we have two points. That is, that is, if we have, if we have two points, two points, I mean, that is x1, y1 and x2, y2. So we can find the slope, we can find the slope rise over run. What is that? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you can use this n and so line is, line equation is, y minus y2 m multiplied with x minus x2 or or y minus y1 m multiplied with x minus x1. These two equations, either two of them uh, is true. So uh, we can use this one or this one for the solution. We will try it now for in the example also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you have two points, I said this one, this one. Yeah. This is the M slope. You can also write here delta Y over delta X. And as I said, rise or run. We can easily understand that this one. Also, if we have uh, alpha may be an, as an angle, and so we can find as this one, tangent alpha or sin alpha over cosinus alpha. Don't forget this one. But here it is enough for us, it's sufficient for us, so we can use this one, and so line is like that. This is our um, slope. slope. So we use the slope here, and he goes on that way. Yeah. Now uh, let's give an example for this one. Uh, let's check. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now example is like that. Write an equation, write an equation for the line, for the line through minus two abscess and minus one ordinate point A. And for the point B, we have abscess three and ordinate is four. Uh, what's the steps of the solution? First of all, first of all, in the first step, first step, we are going to, we have to find, we have to find the slope, the slope. So you know that slope is equal to, slope is equal to, I want to write it again and again, so you may uh, summarize or memorize this one. Rise over run and delta y over delta x, that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's find it, let's find it. It is four minus minus one. Don't forget this one in parentheses. So, three minus minus two, that is five over five. So slope is one. Okay, second step, 
second step is find the line find the line of course using uh, the formula find the line using one of the points one of the points you can remember this one i said you can use one of the point and the slope so using one of the point and and slope m as we found here is equal to one so uh, let's find two equations so you may understand that each other are same okay let's find it y minus four first i use the second um, point so i write four here for y uh, coordinate and slope is one and multiplied by by x minus uh, three here three so we have here x minus three plus four so y is equal to x plus one uh, this is the end of first equation we have to get the same equation here also so y minus what's our ordinate on the first uh, point is minus one minus one so m is one so x uh, multiplied we multiply with no no multiply we subtract with minus two minus two so we get y plus one x plus two so y is equal to again x plus one and you see they are same so we can use uh, either first point or second point one of the point i said okay this is i think clear yeah and next one next one let's give a definition uh, for this slope intercept or, or what are the equations definition what's our definition y is equal to mx plus b this m is called i said slope but there's new thing it is intercept intercept so this equation called this is slope intercept equation equation so uh, if we want to draw it geometrically this is the starting point and this line is going like that let's say like that so we have an angle here here so so and this point is called intercept point intercept point so here it is b b and this angle uh, tangent of this angle is equal to slope and we set here it is m okay i think it's clear also and you have to know this intercept term and slope term uh, when i say find an intercept uh, you have to find b and find the slope so you have to find this uh, coefficient of x and next one next one parallel and perpendicular lines perpendicular lines parallel and perpendicular lines let's say we have two line line one and line two line two and we have slopes for line one and line two 
uh, respectively m1 and m2 respectively and also let's say they are not they are not vertical vertical and if line one line one and line two are parallel parallel this means m1 is equal to m2 how can we uh, show this one uh, let's draw also a cartesian system here so you may understand that this is line one and this is line two you see that it's they are parallel so we can find the angles here this is alpha and this is alpha so uh, it is easily seen that we can observe that tangent alpha is equal to m1 and tangent alpha is equal to m2 here so they are parallel so m1 is equal to m2 let's find perpendicular lines let's say about something about uh, perpendicular lines so again we know that line one and line two line two and we have m1 and m2 as uh, slopes respectively so if two non-vertical lines that is L1, line 1, and L2, line 2, are perpendicular. That is, we have M1 multiplied with M2 is equal to minus 1. That is, that is, M1 is equal to minus 1 over M2 and this is also two or m2 is equal to minus one over m1 this is easy to understand and maybe we can show this also on the cartesian system on the cartesian system this means what's perpendicular means this one m1 maybe non-vertical i said so uh, let's try another one maybe like that and this one the other one and uh, this slope of this line one and line two and slope is m1 and slope is m2 so we have like this and uh, this is 90 degree 90 degree so uh, if we have these two like these two lines l1 and l2 if we said that they are perpendicular so uh, we have to find such as on this equation, maybe M1 is equal to three and M2 is equal to minus one over three. So uh, we can find the solution for each other, three multiplied with minus one over three. So we got minus one. Yeah, like that. And today, finally, I want to talk about distance formula distance formula what is that distance formula in the plane again in the plane and let's give the definition also distance distance between p let's say x1 y1 and q is x2 y2 so the distance formula is like that in the square root in the square root we have delta x square and delta y square is equal to is equal to in again in square root uh, we can write it as x2 minus x1 I'm going to extract this delta x, so uh, we can write this like that. So delta y, uh, y minus y1, y2 minus y1 squared. So this is the uh, formula for the distance. 
so we can solve some problems on the online lecture. Uh, this is the end of our offline lecture. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>